Hi, we're going to talk about the burp protocol. So the first step of the protocol is to lower the larynx. And so I cue this through a yawn or fake yawn. If you put your hand on your throat and you oh, do a yawn, you're going to feel the larynx lower and then come back up. Um, ideally, the goal is to be able to start to isolate that movement of being able to lower the larynx down and up without necessarily having to yawn, but you can also use the yawn cue if that's helpful. Another cue for this is a snort. So if I snort like a pig, my larynx is gonna lower down and come back up. The second part is the jaw protrusion um, or chin protrusion. So you literally think about taking out your chin, your bottom teeth like this, okay? The third part of the protocol is the head turn chin tuck. So if you do it together, you can turn your head either side and then you tuck your chin in, kind of pulling it back, giving yourself a nice double chin. Some people find that just the chin tuck, kind of straight back or just turning the head either direction can be useful. And then finally, the last part is the anchor torso. And so you are you're going to anchor your torso either through pushing your hands together. You can think about squeezing lemons under your armpits. Personally, I find that anchoring the torso lower down is more useful. So thinking about kind of like if you're going to stand up out of a chair, what it feels like on the tops of your thighs, or even what does it feel like when you're about to have a bowel movement, you're kind of pushing down lower. And so some people find that all four of these steps are needed to get the burp to come out. Some people find that a combination or even just one strategy is helpful. So I have my Diet Coke here. <coughs> Took me a minute. I found that I ended up doing kind of combination really of all of them i was kind of lowering the larynx jutting the chin just a little bit anchored my torso for me personally a little bit lower down and then i was able to kind of pull the chin back so he saw me struggle there for a second um but eventually got it uh if you have any questions about this you can always reach out to our speech language pathology department here at columbia center for voice and swallowing um, we can always make an appointment for you to see one of us either in person or if your insurance allows on video and individualize these strategies for you happy burping